know my Austrian dialect videos are getting kind of boring. But you won't believe it, there are people in this world that want me to do another video. What can I teach you? to explain something. Since I live in Upper Austria, I speak a kind of Upper Austrian dialect. I know there are parts in Germany where they can understand my dialect. There are also parts in Germany where they can't understand me. And I'm talking about these. To kick the bucket is in German ins Gras beißen, which means to bite into the grass. And if you want to say the same thing in other words, like to peg out, it's den Löffel abgeben, which means to pass the spoon. As you might know, there are some words in English and in German that sound similar, but have a totally different meaning. For example, to become and bekommen. I'm sure you know what to become means in English, but in German, etwas bekommen um, means to get something, to gain or to receive something. So if you speak to someone whose mother tongue is actually German and he says, I become a guinea pig next week, then he actually means that he will receive a guinea pig next week. Very important, it works. Like, my mobile phone works because it does the things I want it to do most of the time. Um, it's in German, es geht, which means it goes. What's eating you? Was ist dir über die Leber gelaufen? What ran over your liver? Imagine you spill milk, for example, then you need a cloth to wipe it away. And the cloth in Upper Austrian dialect is der Fetzen. And in the north of Germany, they'd rather say der Lappen. So the cloth, der Fetzen, der Lappen. The shoe, der Schuh, der Schuh. A mug, ein Hefel. But I think in Germany they'd rather use the word Becher. But for me, a Becher is more like that. So use the word Hefel for a mug. Glasses, die Brün, die Brille. The hat, der Hut. Der Hut. Toes are in Upper Austrian dialect die Zechen and in German die Zehen. If someone's totally freaking out because of something and you think, oh my goodness, what an overreaction, and you want to say you really don't need to flip out, then I would say, brauchst du nicht gleich Spinner deswegen? Which is in German, du musst ja nicht gleich ausflippen deswegen. Brauchst du nicht gleich Spinner deswegen, literally means you don't need to spider around. By the way, a spider, you know, that scary little animal, is in Austrian dialect a Spinnerin and in German it's eine Spinne. You know, eine Ratte, a rat, I'd rather call it a Rotz. 